Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, uh, inspiration, guidance, advice, and at the time of this recording, um, we are in the days of awe between Rosh Hashanah and uh, Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur. Shortly after will be the holiday of uh, Sokos, Sukkot. Uh, I think in Christian um, Bibles it's called the uh, Festival of uh, Tabernacles or the Feast of Booths. And um, in this time of year, I'm reminded um, uh, of a story of um, uh, Rav Meir of Permishlan. And uh, this occurred toward uh, in Sukkot's time, the beginning of Sukkot. Uh, his daughter, his beloved daughter, fell gravely ill. She was on death's door. At the end of uh, Sukkot, as um, Semchus Tyra, the Feast of Rejoicing in the Torah. And as was his custom, uh, Rav Meir of uh, Premishlaner danced with the uh, Torah scrolls with great fervor and did the hakafos, the dancing around the, uh, the bima, the reading table, danced around the shul with great joy and great happiness. His Hasidim were a little shocked, agog and aghast, as it were, that a man whose daughter in the house nearby was dying, was dancing with such jubilation. How could it be? So they cried out to him, Rebbe, Rebbe, please go to your daughter, do something for your daughter. So, Rebbe Meir leaves the shul, goes to his house, goes into his daughter's room, and there she is, lying, comatose, near death. And he walks out of the room, and he lifts his arms, and he cries to heaven, Rabboinu Shiloilam. Master of the universe, you commanded me, Merla, you commanded Merla to, to blow the shofar on Rosh Hashanah, and I, and I obeyed. I did as you asked. You asked me, uh, you commanded me to fast on Yom Kippur, and I did. I fasted. You commanded me to dance and be joyous in some Taira, and I did as you asked. You made my daughter ill. She's dying. She's in a coma, lying in her bed. It says in the Talmud that we should accept a harsh decree with joy. There's a Mishnah in Tractate Brachas which says we are to bless God for, for bad things as the same as we bless them for good things. We're supposed to accept your decrees with joy. But our sages also say that one may not mix one simcha with another. So how can I be joyful at Simcha's Tyra and also be joyful at the decree that you've handed down for my daughter, how can I serve you properly in both of these circumstances at the same time? You're putting me in an impossible spot. He was praying with great kavana, with great spiritual intention. And almost immediately, his daughter's fear broke. She began to stir, and he heard her moan and move in the bed. And he knew that his prayers have been heard. This um, illustrates the profound sincerity of uh, this tzaddik in fulfilling the uh, commandments and fulfilling the mitzvahs and adhering to the words of our sages. He understood that misfortune from God um, 
is usually for a specific purpose. Our lack of understanding of the ways of God makes things look bad or look good, things look terrible or wonderful. It's all from our uh, perspective, all from our point of view. But one must bless the Creator for misfortune just as we bless Him for happy occasions, for simchas. And he did just that. And um, to the point of equating his celebrating on Simchus Torah with accepting the decree, the Gezerah, for his daughter. And because of that sincerity, his bitachon, his trust in God, his faith in God, was rewarded. And... Um, I hear stories of this, especially at this uh, time of year when we're in between the date of the recording, between uh, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, and there's a lot of introspecting, introspection. And I hear these stories, and I, uh, I try not to feel bad at how far short I fall of this standard, but I use it at the same time as an inspiration to try to be a better person, to try to increase my amuna, my faith, my bitachon, my trust in God. These stories can inspire us. They're not meant to make us feel bad. They're meant to make us feel good. Uh, we'll be doing more of these. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until then, on behalf of uh, the Mona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.